हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू आवर चैनल माय नेम इज महेश प्रसाद मिश्रा आई एम एन एसोसिएट डेटा साइंटिस्ट एट सेप्टिस सॉफ्टवेयर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस फंक्शनलिटीज एंड फीचर्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू सी आर एम वी बिल्ड वेरियस डैशबोर्ड्स वी बिल्ड लाइक वी बिल्ड द डायनामिक डैशबोर्ड्स हाउ टू मेक वी लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू make uh, dashboards more interactive uh, also we learned about stories and how we can apply various machine learning models to grade and score and also predict various uh, business insights or business problems and uh, yeah so we learned a lot about tableau serum uh, so today we are going to learn about the einstein prediction builder uh, so uh, the einstein prediction builder is a very useful component Uh, in salesforce uh, it helps us to uh, build up a prediction in uh, the build up a prediction uh, uh, which supports the data uh, what we need like for example uh, there are two types of prediction like a classification type prediction and a regression type prediction uh, in a classification type prediction uh, there will be like a yes or no type uh, prediction like we, if we want to for example if we say we want to know about the churn Uh, of a, of of a company like if your company wants to know the churn of, of its subscribers so uh, we can like uh, uh, use the branch and prediction builder to like you know uh, uh, predict the churn so it I, it will come as a yes or no and if there is a and if we need a like regression type prediction then uh, like uh, for example predicting the house prices or uh, predicting the annual revenue of an uh, of an account object or predicting the annual revenue uh, or anything like uh, of a lead or anything like that so uh, whatever you need uh, that depends uh, depends on our requirements and we can predict it using the einstein prediction builder so we are also going to uh, see how to add the prediction builder scorecard in the in a lightning page so we are going to also see that Uh, which which will uh, the scorecard also helps keep track of the top uh, change if there is a change in the top predictors or you know if the, how the model works uh, how the model is working how much accuracy it is showing and everything the correlation between different variables everything it shows in the scorecard so we we'll get to know once we get into it so let's start with the einstein prediction builder so as you all know this is the setup Uh, page of the sales uh, for salesforce all uh, so how we can find the einstein prediction builder is uh, uh, it's quite in front of here uh, if we want to do the like uh, it will be in front of us like einstein prediction will get started but we can also find it like if we cannot see it here on the front page so we can also find it from the quick find like einstein just uh, wait and in the einstein section uh, in the sub section of einstein platform you get einstein prediction builder so we are just going to click on it einstein prediction builder and uh, okay, let me close this okay so we got the einstein prediction builder so we don't have any predictions uh, okay so uh, we can have uh, uh, for our developer license we can have 10 predictions at once and we can enable only one prediction so if we get a better license so the number increases but anyways so let's go for a new prediction so so we i want to focus on the account object and i want let's predict uh, the annual revenue of uh, the account object you know go for a regression type uh, a regression type uh, prediction so let's uh, give it the name of annual annual revenue prediction the p name next uh, search objects and we will go for account so we are going to check the data here 1001 the record looks good okay so another uh, point is that uh, the number of min uh, the minimum number of records it needs Uh, the builder needs to like predict something is 400 so if there is, there are records less than 400 then it uh, it will show cross and the builder uh, 
the predict builder will not create a proper prediction and the um, prediction will fail okay so once uh, so uh, as we go on uh, with the steps uh, don't forget to check the data here like if uh, it looks all good or not so we are going to with a number so but there is also you can see a yes or no prediction if you want to see as i said if uh, in a case like if you want to know the churn of a subscriber and everything so yeah so we can also predict that let's go with number then as, as you can see as we, uh, because we selected uh, the account object so all, all the like uh, numerical variables what, which are present in the data set like annual revenue employees and the number of locations it comes right now so we are just gonna choose uh, annual revenue here uh, let's check the data uh, zero records to predict but yeah we got we are gonna uh, predict records so i'm gonna sh uh, show how to uh, so we have which records uh, should I can use as examples uh, so now use all records that have a value for annual revenue we use specific records we can also like uh, give a condition you know to have specific records to score uh, score the annual revenue so if if we want to have like uh, let's say there are uh, 1000 1, rows and uh, 500 rows have the annual revenue score and we want to score uh, more 500 rows for uh, the annual uh, more uh, we want to predict the annual revenue for more the uh, remaining 500 rows then it should come here like 500 re records to predict but as like every uh, row has an annual revenue so uh, let me show like uh, how to do that uh, like we can uh, build another field which will score the annual revenue which will predict the annual revenue for all the re all the records so uh, i'm gonna show that how to, uh, i'm gonna show how to do that uh, so we'll just go for score specific records here and uh, i think we can go for account number and uh, is null and we're just gonna go for false okay so it says that uh, if the account number is not false okay like uh, like uh, is null like uh, if the account number is there then it will score the record so that's what it well, that's what it says uh, okay and zero records to predict okay let me see one more okay account source is null false let's say okay we got 999 records to predict okay it's good so let's see uh, okay let's see let's see let's see uh, okay so next i think we are gonna go next yeah let's go next uh, so we can also choose what uh, what fields should i send based your prediction on we can choose the, the fields uh, like uh, what we deem to be important uh, we can also choose that uh, so the account has 38 fields so all the 38 fields are selected but uh, we can uh, choose the specific fields also so let's go for next enter the label so we want to create a custom field which will store the result of the uh, result of the prediction so let's give like a revenue score uh, and let's and stand revenue score show top predictors of records on so once we enable this uh, in the scorecard it will show us the top predictors which are important in the prediction uh, prediction of the records so let's check our data for once again so yeah we have nine, 999 records to predict so i think everything looks good okay you can see that all the, all the details regarding this whatever it shows okay now we are gonna build the prediction so building the prediction and uh, giving the result uh, yeah, takes a little bit of time like uh, 10 to 15 minutes 
so once it's uh, done uh, I, I will show you uh, the scorecard yeah uh, yeah so finally we got the prediction after a few minutes like 10 15 minutes uh, so once we get the prediction done we will get a notification here that uh, success this uh, prediction is done and uh, we can go to the scorecard to review the details so you can see what the field what to predict the scorecard uh, and the status is ready for review so we get options like enable clone edit edit and or view scorecard so we are gonna go to view so let's see what all uh, scorecards uh, what all uh, features does the scorecard have so we have the prediction quality the quality of prediction is 99 the prediction is a bit high i think it may be uh, the model may be overfitting but i'm not sure so maybe so the uh, quality of prediction is 99 percent which is a bit high uh, also we get here at the top predictors yeah the account name account owner the industry is healthcare uh, and the billing country let's view all the predictors so you can see it uses a uh, simple linear regression to uh, predict the annual revenue uh, so i think account name the correlation also we can see the impact account owner billing country so industry transportation communication in energy these are also good top predictors industry manufacturing so basically industry has a very good like uh, industry is one of the top predictors in uh, predicting the annual revenue uh, and also the billing country uh, yeah so we can see the impact score like depending on how how much impact it has on predicting the annual revenue so we have the fields here so we can go one by one like select the fields to have a detailed impact like uh, if we choose account source so we can see what uh, what impact does advertisement has what impact does employee referral has and uh, way word of mouth trade show each detailed uh, you can say you know detailed uh, uh, representation of the impact the, uh, all the details regarding that so i think yeah if we choose building country also you can see all the impact scores are written here once uh, so austria and uh, let's uh yeah you can see i think switzerland is the highest then china then uh, turkey then yeah so billing state also i think now we don't have that okay anyways employees industry yeah, industry also we can see let's sort it out yeah you can see healthcare transportation communications energy and manufacturing are the top five uh, industry sectors which have the highest impact on the prediction of annual revenue and then we have segment the impact score is we can also the impact score here then type i think only one is customer okay anyway so these are the settings also okay these are the details about the prediction uh okay now next thing is we want to enable the prediction so enabling the okay let's view okay i think it takes us to the help page uh once we we have a here enable the prediction so once we enable this prediction this prediction will score for on the field like we created the field uh and standard revenue score so it will uh, score that field once we enable this so let's enable it okay uh you can see uh, prediction annual revenue prediction is enabled and the answer will start scoring our results so i think we are done here so let's go to accounts okay let's close it so let's call accounts and let's spin it and uh, let's find our new and send revenue score let's add it it takes a little bit of time to score the results uh, so let's see if it has started scoring or not okay
Uh, yeah, so finally, after a few minutes, uh, so the ancient revenue score has come here. So you can see it takes a lot, it takes a bit of time to score the records uh, compared to the Tableau CRM scoring. Uh, so, yeah, let me show this. Okay, so you can see uh, different, uh, different types of predictions regarding the annual revenue. You can see in right now it is scoring, it has scored all the records. So you can see, yeah. Now let's see, uh, let's check out uh, how to you know add the ancient predictions component like the prediction scorecard we created. How to add it uh, to a record page? Uh, okay, so we are just gonna go to a record page. Then let's go to edit page. You can see we have added the one we created from the Tableau CRM uh, model, uh, Tableau CRM story model. The prediction we created, we have added this here. So the same component, you can see ancient predictions component. We are just going to try it and drop it here, right above this. And uh, we have chosen annual revenue prediction. This one, this one, yeah, this one. And you can see the different types of uh, prediction. The confidence range is also showing then the top predictors and last updated okay prediction score unit also we can give details and filter okay okay we can give like uh, uh, the prediction score unit uh, like if you want to give a dollar sign here yeah. so i think i think it uh, yeah i think it's that i think Anyways, so if you want to give it, uh, we can also give that also. Uh, and let's save it. And I think we have done it. Let's check. Okay, yeah, you can see here clearly the annual revenue prediction score. I think it's the mean value of the prediction score, like, yeah. Uh, and then uh, the top predictors, the confidence range, range, you can also see the top predictors, billing country, industry, value of segment, account owner, like the ID, account owner ID, and the number of employees, uh, 400. Okay, so you can see that clearly here in ancient predictions. Okay, so i think yeah so that's how we do it in the ancient prediction builder that's how we use the ancient prediction builder to score various records and you can uh, see uh, like how to check the records like if we have enough records to score it and how many records we are predicting it and everything we can check one by one while we go forward so that's it for this video uh, thank you and uh, that's all uh, that's it from my side